Hi. With this movie we will show you how to send personalized emails to multiple recipients coming from a database query. First, let's create a server action file. We'll put it in a folder called emails for better structuring. Create your action file and add a name for it. Then, right-click Steps, and under Database Actions, select Add Database Connection. Add a name for this database connection, and set up its options. Enter your server address, database name, username, and password. Click OK when you are done. Right-click the database connection. Open the mailer menu and add setup mailer. Set up your mail server address, port, username, and password. And right click the setup mailer step when you are done. Now, let's set up the database query, which will return the recipient's emails. Add a database query. Then, add a name for this query. And set up the query options. Select the table containing the email addresses and add it to the selection. Then add the table columns to the query and click OK when you are done. Now we need to add a repeater after the query. Right click the query step. Open Core Actions and add a repeat step. Add a name for the repeat and set up its expression. We select the database query that we've just created and then we click the select button. Now our repeat step will be executed for every record returned by the query. Right click steps inside the repeater. Open the mailer menu and add send mail. Enter the subject for the email. Then enter the sender information, name and email. Then when you are done setting up the sender information, let's move to the recipient section. Click the dynamic data button in order to select the recipient's names. Select the data binding under repeater which returns the recipient's names and click the select button. Do the same for the recipient's emails. Select the email binding under repeater and click the select button. And now as we are done setting up the recipient's information, let's set up the email content. Open the mail body type drop down. In this tutorial, we are using an email template, so we select File. Note that everything shown in this tutorial is the same if you are using a static mail body type. We change the format to HTML. And then we browse to our template file. And then we select it and click the OK button. In order to add the personalized information, we need to click the edit button and the email editor loads. We'd like to add a greeting here using the name of each of the recipients. So we just remove the static content and click the dynamic data button. We select the name binding returned by our repeater. Then we click the select button. And you can see that the dynamic name data has been successfully added. Using the inline editor, we can style it a bit. Let's make the name bolder. Click the save button when you are done. And save your action file. Now, let's create an executor which will run the newsletter action file on button click. Click the add new executor button. 
and add a name for it. Set it to never auto run and select your action file from the drop down. Then set the method to post and click the OK button when you are done. Then click the button which will be used to send the newsletter. Add new behavior. Select Control DMX Zone Server Action Executor. Select to run the executor which we've just created. And click OK. And we are done. That's how easy it is to send personalized emails to multiple database users using DMX Zone Mailer.